Hi, my name is Leah Thurman. I'm here at the Barbary in Birmingham and I'm about to take part in the Enrol research. Hi, my name's Liam. I'm here for the Enrol HD appointment, which I come to every year. My name is Elsa. I'm a research fellow as part of the Huntington Seas team here in Birmingham. Enrol HD is a worldwide longitudinal observational study um, and it's for HD families to take part in. The aim of it is to learn about how the disease changes over time. You just want to take a seat there, Leah, please. Great, thank you. Thank you for coming. Of course. I guess just before we get started, I just want to make sure that you're happy to still take part in the role and the research. Yep. yep. Do you have any questions before we get started? No. No, are you sure? Great, okay. The study involves different tests, so to start with, um, Elsa asks me loads of questions about um, my mood, my mental health, what's happened in the last year. She asks me just different behavioural questions about myself, my life and what's going on. In terms of working, are you still are you working your job to your full capacity? Yeah. Not had to change anything at work or anything like that? Okay. Then we do different cognitive tests, things like name as many words that begin with the letter R as you can in two minutes and all of a sudden you forget every word that begins with the letter R. <laughs> the next letter is the letter A. So again, as many words you can think of that begin with the letter A. No names of people or places. Okay, so you ready? Yeah. And go. Act, anchor, argue. You do the same motor tests every year that you come back so that they can get an idea over the, the time how you progress. So I walk in a straight line, um, touch my fingers together and those sorts of things. I think the first time I came to the study, I was a bit nervous because I wasn't sure what it entailed and actually it was a lot much simpler than I thought it would be. Okay so if you could keep your head nice and still and follow the pen with your eyes. I sometimes find aspects of the appointments a little bit tiring so some of the motor neuron tests and, and the reading can be a bit tiring especially at the moment wearing masks and things that can be a bit um, draining. This one's a little bit different um, I just want you to read the words so either red, green or blue please. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, and go. Red, blue, green, red, blue, red, green, green, blue, blue. When I first heard about the study, I was really keen to get involved. Um, it, it's had a big impact on my family, Huntington's has. My parents help out loads. My mum is really keen to do whatever she can. Um, and this just felt like something that I could do as well to help. That's great, thank you. So we'll do the bloods and things um, now and we'll do that next door. OK, great. Thank you so much. These sorts of studies, the questions they ask and the tasks that you have to do for people who are struggling with Huntington's disease or their family members are struggling, it helps bring it to the surface to have that discussion, to get it out in the open rather than keeping it bottled up inside. Obviously, different people have different circumstances and it's not for everybody. Maybe for some people, um, they don't think about Huntington's disease all year and then they come to this and it's all about Huntington's disease so it really brings it home for those people. Um, sometimes people are conscious about their performance on the tasks so I'm, am I doing as well as I did last year? Sometimes it, it makes me think about um, why I'm doing it and, and that can feel a bit heavy sometimes but there's always that sense that you're, you're helping to make a, a difference and possibly create treatments and things in the future. Enrol HD also operates um, as a way of registering your interest in either further research or drug trials. I've had an MRI scan taken and a lumbar puncture taken um, and I got involved with those studies through Enrol. So my mum's had lumbar punctures, my dad and I have had them and there's more concerns around that because it is more invasive and it has more side effects potentially. Some of them are a little bit emotionally draining or physically draining like the lumbar puncture um, but I'm glad that I did them um, because I think it's really important if I'm if I'm already involved to try and give as much as, as I can and take as many opportunities as I can to help. I hope Enrol HD impacts the way that we understand Huntington's disease. I hope that it 
stimulates further research, it makes research more accessible to you know, developing ways of managing the disease and obviously overall I'd, I'd really love for it to contribute to developing a treatment that can manage the disease. So that is everything. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Um, do you have any questions or anything? No, I think that's, that's everything, thank you. Okay, cool. Well, I guess I'll see you next year, like on some of the time. It was so nice to see you. Thank, Thank you for coming. Thank you, See you later. We've just had our appointments. I enjoy it. I enjoy coming and, and I like chatting to Volta and we always have a little catch up and a gossip. And It's interesting, the things that they ask you and the different tasks you have to do. I'm, I don't, it's not a chore. If you're doing this and you're doing other trials and things and, and helping out, it gives you, it makes you feel like you're you're really something back at least. Yeah, you, a something. yeah, and and helping people in the future, and so yeah, it's worthwhile.